Welcome, everybody, to the adventures of my mighty clan of the House Seam Seam Seaman D Seaman Bollocks Dynasty. Uh, today we've got to try and get independence to basically allow us to become the the, the Seaman of our hopes and dreams, because otherwise we can't release uh, vassals. Basically, so we're stuck basically being an inland man, which isn't nearly as funny or unmonetizable. So we have to take out King Mink Minkwan uh, of oh dear, this is bad of of the kingdom, and then we can finally we can finally start working along the coast as is intended with this series. We're still trying to go for basically all the health points possible. So we got healthy, go for whole of body, and then we'll see just what else can give us. What what, get, what else gives health here? Um, is there any kind of last tier? I think there is. Is there strategist overseer? No, I don't think any of these would give more health. Um, maybe, maybe torture her. Take other people's health. Yeah. Uh, no, unfortunately not. Balls. Well, okay, we'll see what happens. We'll see if we can keep him, uh, nice and healthy. Stay on the medicine focus would be, would be the obvious one there. And I guess to stick to the, maybe even go down theologian. Hey, we might be able to reform the religion if we can keep him alive for long enough. Give us 20 years or so. We could take out the entire kingdom, reform the religion, and then give it all away. Give it, give it all independence. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Alternatively, we could give all of the inland provinces to one of our kids and make a second seaman dynasty uh try and try and make get them to make a cadet branch or something called like inland man and then they can deal with all the inland provinces and we can take all the coast that way it's still kind of us doing something i'll see if i can do that because that sounds like a fun idea it can be quite tricky to pull off though um right so here we go we are we are the obviously the dominant power currently inside the pagan pagan kingdom depending on how you want to pronounce it people have told me both ways are fine um which makes it very confusing I'll leech them. What Cassus Belli do we have? Um, yeah, independence isn't really what I want right now. So I think we'll just stick to fabricating a few more claims here and there. Um, as fast as that's going to... How fast are we looking at these days? Uh, excuse me. Uh, Chris's speed. We are playing on patch 1.1. So a little bit of note on that one. This episode is going to be like because of patch 1.1. Basically, half the mods that we needed for this campaign updated. Half the mods did not. Which means that when we went to patch 1.1, it crashed because half the mods were out of date. And if we roll back, it crashed because half the mods had updated. Um, so we're kind of in a position now where it works, but I have had to disable some things, mostly graphical. Um, the gameplay changes, as far as I recall, are still are still normal and in place. So we wouldn't have to worry about that too much. The Akon Reformation. Hello. Organized Akan Faith. Wow. Okay, that's fairly impressive. Theologian, scholar, whole of body, herbalist, and wise man. Wow. 43 learning. Good lord. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait. Anting. What? And Tengri? That's the same man. No, that can't be a coincidence. That must be a patch 1.1 shenanigan, surely. Tengri and... Well, on the same day. Localized entirely within our kitchen. That That's not right at all. Okay, well, that's got to be some patch 1.1 weirdness. So don't panic too much with that one. If they've broken Reformation, hang on. Still 4,900 for us then, isn't it? You shit. Okay, I was hoping we'd be able to get a free... I guess reforming the faith is obviously very different to creating a new branch. Um, we'll try and... Can we create a head of faith for our... We can't. We'd have to... We'd have to create one, wouldn't we? Um, wh where is it that changes that? Theocratic. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll do some messing around with it and, and see if we can create our own head of faith. See if we can make ourselves a head of faith. I'm not about the flexibility when it comes to, comes to religion like that. Right, let's marry you off. I think... Would he, uh, maybe more alliances? We're getting to the stage now where it's becoming more relevant. Very well, we want to go for independence soon. I don't want to go for counties inside our realm anymore because we don't really need them. Um, you're not terrible. This guy up here. I guess we'd go for that. Uh, what's, what's she like? She hasn't got any inheritable traits, so to speak. Um, well, by, by which I mean she doesn't have any inheritable traits. She wouldn't be bad to keep her round, though. Um, but I'm going to marry her to him for an alliance. Potentially when we go to war against Pala. I mean, they're right there. That would be... Not too bad. Diplomacy lifestyle perk up. We're almost down to diplomat now. Very nice. Um, how are we doing with diplomacy at, uh, with perks elsewhere? So we're getting kind of close to our next martial perk. Not so bad on stewardship. Not so bad on intrigue as well. Um, learning we are miles away. Actually, no. We're not miles away. It's just the bar is basically the same color. Can you guys see any difference in that in the video? I mean, I can just about make it out. But I think with YouTube compression and whatnot, that's probably just all looks like the same color. Brilliant. I think they, they did do a little bit of uh, 
a redesign with the CKA3 UI. So you can kind of see over here, they've, they've put some kind of cloud around those buttons, I guess, to make them stand out a little bit more. Um, Siege, the, the Siege UI is infinitely better now. Obviously, they've put kind of some stained glass around there. They've moved the stress bar, things like that. It looks better. Some of it is a weird choice. Like, I don't think the stress bar needs to go there. I kind of prefer it where it is because this is quite a cluster of buttons all together now, isn't it? Like, I don't know why they didn't just add culture down here. To be honest, same with religion. I don't know why they didn't add just culture and religion down there. Um, to be honest, same with fucking dynasty too. It seems weird that they've kind of clustered it all together anyway. Um, right, let's get to work then. So we get to war with you just straight away now, right? Uh, what claims do we even have? We've got Minbu. We've got this one which we can revoke. Uh, whenever this guy's off of truce with us, right? Um, and one of the side effects of the new patch is that apparently my menus have gone transparent. That's most likely one of the incompatible mods. Um, but I'm sure that'll get fixed in a couple of days. It's not that big a problem to, you know, obviously put the series on pause or wait for it to update. Right, okay. Um, so you got that one and that one. So both those are inside a realm already. So we can revoke those. That's not a problem. Um, and then just got Minbu right now. We'll just work around the capital then. So we go for Yamathin next. And then we'll just head up towards and, and save the kingdom as our last. And then we'll, we'll get independent and give it all out, I think. Oh. Claimant demand. Oh. Uh, I will not be threatened. What's the faction like? Um, it's a duchy of this one. Uh, it's one dude. No, it's not even that one. It's this guy. Oh, yikes. 201% military power. I will not be threatened. Rally the troops. Expanding too fast. Fast and loose there. As long as we call in some allies, we'll be fine. Um, how many men have you got? 4,000. Let's be careful because we're not we're not doing so well on the prestige front. I'm going to call in you. Um, and I'm also going to call it. What did, what did you have? 1,800. We've got this guy with 1,300. Let's also call in him. And we'll leave it there. Few champions too doesn't really inspire much confidence. Um, can't invite any of the balls. Okay. Let's see how we get on here. We have all our elephants, more to the point. Which, to be fair, will make factions and uh, revocations and people declaring war. I, unless they've changed how it works. Obviously, in CK2, you could have nothing but elephants. And the AI would take a look at you and say, oh, he's only got 2,000 troops. Let's clap him. But if you had 2,000 elephants, obviously, you would destroy them. I wonder if it's the same thing in CK... In CK3, where they just look at army size rather than... Rather than army composition, because that'd be quite interesting. Because if if so, going nothing but war elephants not only is great for a meme, but also actually quite a legit strategy too. I'll have to see if I can get some information on that one. Uh, I'll have a word with some people. Right, help me out here. Um, they've raised very few men. If we can get on that quickly before their troops all start coming together, we should be okay. Yeah, what are they doing? Look at this. Unless this guy's reinforced quick, we are in a we're in a very good place. Okay, here we go. Look at that. An easy first victory. Right, okay. I'm going to follow our allies for a little while. Um, oh, the edge of the world. Uh, we could be... I guess this is kind of the equivalent of becoming a heliocentrist scholar, right? In CK2. Gain piety. We want piety, though, don't we? This choice may lead down a path of zealousness. 25 lifestyle experience as well. We, we want to try and reform this religion if possible. Or at least make our own branch. And we are getting close. And if we can get zealous back as well... Bear in mind, we had it yesterday but lost it. That would be pretty fantastic. Right, keep stalking these troops. Just try and, try and push them out of our realm. That's it. If they're heading up that way, then no problems. Then we can stick to sieging with our big old elephants. And another unpressed claim there. Um, are the elephants good at sieging? You assume they'd be good at sieging. They don't have any kind of siege side effects then. They've just got toughness and a shitload of damage. No pursuit and no screen, obviously, because they are... They're elephants. I'm surprised they didn't give them, like, a siege side effect similar to the manganels. Weird. You'd assume they'd be able to do a shitload of siege damage anyway. This is good because it means we can potentially revoke all of these titles from our vassals too. Hold them for ourselves. We're only three out of six on our domain size. Alternatively, we give them independence um, so that we can be truly a the, the coastal boy. I think split that off as well. Oh, that's cool. I like that. That's, that's a good little feature. I, I haven't added a mod that does this, so that's great. Um, that's fantastic. Okay, available perks. Hold a body. So we should live for quite a while. Medium health boost, minus 20% stress gain. So we've kind of got a double health boost there. Obviously, stress adds to uh, generally dying a little bit sooner than sooner than you should. How old is he now? 60. Shit. We're going to be... If we reform the religion, it's going to be close. Let's putting it that way. I don't think we're going to be able to do it. But it is It is still within hope. Um, flying rabbits. Skeptical about fantastical stories. Intrigue and hostile scheme. Uh, fantastical stories about faraway lands. Or you're confusing them with a real creature known as the... Known as the what? Oh, I wanted to know what it was. Um, general opinion and prestige. I want whatever gives... I think we'd go that one. Diplomacy and learning. Why not? We can make Shark our best friend. 
Random secret from him with inside the realm. Oh, I prefer that, though, so that we can demand payments. <laughs> um, Raja Sektivam's murder secret. Wow. Okay, this is... Oh, and now we've got some more allies turning up. We don't really need it, because I think when, when we take this, it's over. Gain 100 piety there. Um, I want to be able to see if I can blackmail some more people, too. See if we can get some more payments, because we've been going pretty hard on the secrets recently. Um, the threat was made. There can only be one outcome. I hate... Uh, okay, let's not reveal it. We, we're not going to get anything politically out of out of revealing their secret besides them, you know, losing power in their own respective realms. We want to be able to hang on to that so that uh, so that eventually we can blackmail them for it again. Um, and this is our liege, is it? Uh, no, it's not. It's our ally. I don't care. We don't care about them. Drop drop the troops. We're not really too bothered about them. Thank you. Um, prisons can be ransomed. Excellent. A little bit of gold. Or I could not do that and we could revoke some titles, like I said. I mean, I would like the gold, though. Mm. We can't make him independence for a while. We can revoke titles, though. Um. <sighs> Let's revoke your title for a start. Um, revoke, revoke title can't. We don't have limited crown authority. Can we pass that quickly? Uh, yes, we can. Okay. Right, so you, I'm going to revoke that if that's okay, because you are a traitor to the realm. You have a claim on the title, and we have a revocation reason. Um... So no downsides to that one. Much appreciated. Um, you're in my prison as well, so you're going to get revoked. County is a known criminal. Boom. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Uh, have we got anyone else I can revoke from? I guess you. Uh, let's go ahead and revoke title. That one. I have a claim on the title, and he is a criminal. So we'll take that one too. Thank you very much. Uh, and now we have... Basically, no vassals. Well, we do have, obviously, like, three or four vassals there. But more importantly, six out of six round size. Then we'll ransom anyone else out who we can. Or should we execute them? I feel like having a bunch of enemies kicking around wouldn't be a great idea. Against ten, ten dread and he's killed by me. Yeah. Let's just do it, then. Close family members hate us, but that's fine. Um, I'd rather kill them off rather than having a go with claims on duchies and shit kicking around. I think this is the, the, the better play. Ransom this guy out for 100 gold. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's easy. That's an easy choice. Your money or your life. So what do you think then? Serve the crown gives dread. Or we go for... Envelopment. Mana arms counter efficiency 25%. We are we are using quite sizable mana arms right now. Literally. Um, you can demand some payments too. So money isn't exactly a weak point, is it? Look at this. We're doing... This is a... Somebody left a comment saying this. But I agree. It is a massively strong start. I mean, we've got four holdings. Uh, we've got the duchy capital in our realm as well like it's incredibly good and like i said one of the rules of this campaign will say is that if we get a five or six holding slot obviously we'll move over there um but i don't think that's gonna be a problem for a, oh there's one there right so when we get to there we'll make this one our new capital instead um we just need to revoke it first i find a reason to revoke it anyway what happens if we do that act of tyranny we could just claim it i guess fabricate claim and revoke it that way um probably wouldn't hurt i think i'd rather go for independence right now um just to ensure that we can we can give up people independence form a new kingdom dish them out i wonder if we could get independence make a kingdom level title with the decision um found a new kingdom then also make the kingdom of pagan or pagan or however it's pronounced give the kingdom of pagan out no hold the kingdom of pagan to us and give the titular kingdom out to our inland relatives that way they haven't got claims on our stuff but we've always got claims on their stuff does that make sense i think that's probably the best idea um and then we can just keep following the coast. Don't got to worry about that point unless we fabricate any more duchy level claims. I wonder what our liege thinks of us right now. Just slowly swallowing up the whole country. Um, why can't we declare our war? Uh, have we got an alliance with that guy? Balls. Okay, that's not ideal. What about you? We good against you? Yeah, we do. 70 prestige. Man, breaking the bank there. That's actually a significant amount of our prestige too. Especially if we want to make that that uh, titular kingdom too. Damn. Okay. Um, is that really the way around we got to go? We've got to ford the river. Balls. Okay, we should be able to catch him still, though. Oh, no, it doesn't really matter. Look at the new siege UI, though. It's really nice. They're genuinely very, very nice. And we are done. Thank you. Another title to the mighty realm of Seaman. And, oh, we're in high medieval. Okay, that's really all we needed here. Okay, we, we're still the head of our, yeah, I was going to say, uh, immediately on divine right. Um, <laughs> Palatinate, feudal contract, I don't really care about. Um... But the press se several claims in a single war is fantastic. We do get minus 20% total creation cost too. This is so big. This means that we can fabricate, you know, all the claims on Pala. Do one big war against them. All the claims on this guy. Deccan Empire, we could go all the way around his entire coast. We should really take this. I guess we should probably take the Maldives too. Um, seeing as we are Lord of the Sea. And that is pretty much, you know, 
And I, a, a sinking nation is probably just about as sea as you get. I don't know why I fabricated the climb on that one first. What a mistake there. I should have gone for this one. All right. Um, let's go for you then. Wife recovers. That's always good news. Wife, I need you on managing my domain, seeing as we are seven out of six in our domain size right now. I think we've inherited uh, like a like a castle or a temple or something. Barony, 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 bollocks. Uh, that's a lot of baronies, brother. Minbu? You want Minbu? Cart holding, it's inland. I don't want it. Give it away to someone, and then we'll get rid of it. God, Anglerfish is 43! Uh, go to this guy. There you go. All yours, my friend. We don't want any stinky inland titles. Faithful. And then we'll start heading down towards Profit first. Because, to be fair, with Profit, we'll be able to make our own religion. Um, we've got to be very fast about it, though. Holy shit. Uh... Chancellor. Oh, no, we can't reassign you. Let's put you on it, then. That's fine. Uh, he's still looking for secrets in the Deccan Empire, which I think is still absolutely the right play to go for. Got anything else? One more hook there. Uh, and he actually went for it, too. Fantastic. Let's get that payment coming in. Thank you very much, my friend. Uh, lawful in prison. A run to Wunna. Uh, who are you? Go, we execute a family member. Unlawfully execute family. You're wrong. Um... Can imprison him, but he might leave our court. I don't really care about that. I'd rather... Yeah. I fled to the countryside. Good. Where he can't cause us any problems. My wife! Duchess Kana Devi. Lose... What? We get one stress for that. Because our wife died. That seems a little... Oh, she was a secondary spouse? Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I care about secondary spouse. I'm going to just marry anybody with high stewardship. So eventually they can filter through and become primary wifery. Uh, let's go on and count Corge. You know what? I think I might actually do that game. That's a That's a fair point. Right, let's drop you there. Rally points, invisible. Um, confuse the enemy. That's why. It's to confuse the enemy. Definitely not a problem with the newest patch. Uh, it's, uh, it's a royal prerogative. Right. If we don't know where they're going, how can the enemy? There you go. A genius. A genius man is is Count C. Of aforementioned man. Uh, Count? Count C of Kira, 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 Kira? Yeah, that one. Thank you. A lot of low counter control to balls. Uh... Right, we should probably start with this one, seeing as it is it is the pinkest of colors. All right, how are we looking? Still can't assault the fort. This this flips over into a, an a, a assault fort uh, button when the walls fell, like Shaka. Um, unfortunately, not really much we can we can do with that when we haven't got siege weapons. Just big elephants. Just massive, big old fuck-off elephants. Right, okay. Um, we can go diplomat. We've already got Patriarch, haven't we? There we go. Uh, and we've also got Accomplished Forger, which I actually brought up in the other series. is really fucking good. 75% faster claim speeds. And you've got the CK3 inherent much, much faster claim speeds, which is which is really, really nice. Um, detailed ledgers, fearful troops. I, I mean, I think we'll go Man at Arms Maintenance, because that's always going to be relevant. And then you can go for... Um, we've got Dark Insights. I mean, I should have tortured those people. Let's go Dreadful for our Dread gain as well. Why not? Look at this. The poor, our poor lead isn't going to know what's about to hit him. Let's get those dropped. Uh, so we can immediately... Oh, we're allies with you as well. Oh, it's the same guy. Balls. Um, we go for Hanan next. And bear in mind, we could just keep sit here and fabricate all these claims simultaneously and grab the whole thing this time. Oh, we've got a cast spell against this guy, do we? Oh, fair enough. Um, I thought we were, we had an alliance with Candrus, but I guess whoever we were allied with in Candrus died. Um, so if we go ahead and fabricate climb on that one too, we've only got 10 months left. We'll wait for that one to go through. Fabricate climb there and take both in one go. Because, well, actually, are we going to have that? Oh, that's going to take ages. 20 years? Okay, never mind. Forget that. Just go to war now. <laughs> to be fair, I'm, I'm used to... I'm used to kind of just changing it after the fact. It's kind of rare that we are cultural head going into the late medieval. All the times we've played, we've always been just kind of babby boy. Um, with, with absolutely no sway whatsoever. So this time, it's going to take a little bit longer to get there, unfortunately. Right, you're dead as all hell. Well, go for the castle rather than the war girl, sod it. We might just be able to take him prisoner and end it immediately. Yeah, I really like this. This, this looks so much nicer than it used to. You got, the, you got a really very clear progress speed there. Very clearly, no siege weapons because elephants don't count. Um, but yeah, much much nicer than it used to be. I should point out all these wars that we're losing are just our allies' wars, which is why they're blue. Um, I don't really care about that too much, to be honest with you. Right, okay. Um, they are attacking my stuff, though, which I'm really not pleased about. Ava. Oh, they're at war against me. Oh, wow. Uh, this guy called them in, huh? Well, they were our ally, so I guess that's why it said we were they were inferior to us, but that's assuming we were to call them in and they weren't to call them in. Doesn't really matter either way. Right, Zealous Proselytizer, two more, and we can potentially make our own religion too. Come on, I believe in you. Clam Seaman, mighty religious head, and founder of his own unique branch, Buddhism. 
Let's do it. I'm 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 fully on board with this now. Bear in mind, if we get half cost, we essentially get. 6,100 prestige to, or 6,200 almost, piety to play around with with forming a new religion um, in the equivalent that we don't have that. So not only will we be able to reform it, hang on a second, not only will we be able to reform it, we can also turn some new doctrines. So we could add, I don't know, armed pilgrimages, and we can basically afford that. Um, obviously, that's the most expensive one, too, so we might want to throw that in immediately. We might want to go for something a bit more simple, like uh, monasticism, which isn't bad. Uh, natural primitivism. Oh, that's the one that lets you be naked and get demonetized. Oh, great. Um, ritual hospitality. Generous of virtue. Rulers can host other characters as an honored guest. Oh, that's quite good. Sky burials is great. I might go for sky burials. That's really good. Um, powers of poverty. Reducing monthly tax. That sounds terrible. Warmonger, like Unrelenting Faith, though, would really be what we're after. So if we can save up, like, 3,450... Piety is the goal here. Can we on a pilgrimage or something quickly? Divine the stars. That sounds about right. Do it. Mystical communion. That sounds about right. Do it. I know it's costing us piety. Bear with me. It might it might help out. Um, we are slightly stressed, so let's go ahead and do that one too. There we are. Um, host a feast. Why the fuck not? Might as well just do whatever we can at this point. Oh, our true sending immediately. Wow. Suspicious of others. On the intrigue lifestyle experience. That's not too bad. Um... Forming a rivalry with Count Akar, or 75 and gain a weak favor hook on him, which allows me to demand a payment, which I'm quite happy about. Thank you, 70 gold there. Strong hook on that person. No, we could be friends with you instead. Um, and we gain 75 more opinion and even more stuff. Excellent. We can observe a duchy. Not going to do that. Um, oh, no, we need to do it. Well, we can do it. Uh, but more importantly, it'll make no difference if we do it or not, because we're going to get partition ripping apart the realm unless we can make a kingdom soon anyway. So there's no reason not to go for it, basically. Uh, what else we got here? Clam, semen, could marry. Wow, we get an alliance with... Oh, man, no, they've got claims on all of that. Wow. Um, that'd be quite good. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, right let's go. Clam Seaman can marry. Alliance power? There's no alliances potential with our son. So instead, what we'll do... Unless we go matrilineal, obviously, we're not going to do that. Um, let's go inheritable traits. What do you like? He's intelligent. If we can double down on intelligent, that'd be quite good. Chance of getting some genius kids into that. Oh! Boofa Seaman? Genius, pretty, and robust. Did I see her the other day? Oh, that's quite good. I think I would genuinely rather marry him to an intelligent character, though, so that we're, that we're guaranteed intelligent, rather than, you know, potentially doing the gamble there. We're essentially just downgrading her. Um, oh, there isn't anyone. Besides her, she's spindly. Go on, why not? Spindly is not necessarily so bad. Not when you're also potentially getting genius out of it, too. Ego Reveler, thank you so much. Right, so... We traded piety away there, sure, but it got us another level of devotion, and we got 300 lifestyle experience out of it, so that means we're ever closer to getting profit. I am concerned about right now that we are going to die before we're able to reform the religion, so anytime we get that, it's going to be quite good. Uh, 300 lifestyle again. Oh, we actually got it. There we go. And we get someone joining our court with a strong hook. Um, still can't get any payments, but that's all right. Okay, how are we doing with, with claims then? So you're our ally. Can't do anything against you. We've got a claim on you so far. I believe we've got a claim on Hanlon. Uh, Hanlon. Oh, we've got Saigang. We've got that one too, but that's our province. Um, Ava and uh, the others are against our allies. So we've got Saigang. Sa Sa uh, let's go for Hanlan next and then Kale. Um, but obviously we'll just press wars whenever we can at this point. Right, get some get some troops over in that direction. Military. Can I buy more elephants? No, can't afford elephants. Way too expensive, these elephants. Well, they're not. They're great. Um... But it's going to take a while to be able to get our full mana arms. Oh. Hey. Why? We can't do it. Have I got troops raised? No? Why can't I declare war? Declare war? My claims? No. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Confirm? Can't declare war. 35... Prestige. Oh. Okay, if anybody knows why we can't declare war there, very interested to, to know. Um, it's just not not possible, apparently. Well, let's swap our, our, our claim fabricator over to Tacon, then. Why not against you, fellow vassal? Declare war, my claims. Because we hold no border with him? It's got to be that, right? I guess it's because we hold no border. Well, that's a bit of a ball like. We might want to start going for independence pretty soon. Um, predominantly because I'm a little worried about not only dying without reforming religion, but potentially dying soon and having a round partition and being back to square one. So I'm thinking we'll go for war. 
I'm going to call in all our allies. Just spend whatever we can here. Um, let's get you in. Let's get you in. Oh, well, they can't. We can't call them in because they're, they're vassals, aren't they? Within our realm. That's a shame. Should be okay, though. We should be fine. Bear in mind, that calculation of how many troops he had included our troops. So if we just turn up, destroy his capital. How did you send troops out of there when I was in there, you shit? Get out of here. Right, they're bringing their troops back. So let's very, very quickly clap the capital if we can. We are pretty well defended because we're over a river, too. We've got a lot of boys kicking around here. This is dangerous. Uh, okay, don't, don't. Can I call you in yet? There's another war against him. Shit. Uh, who's... That's why. Okay. Should have really checked my allies a bit more thoroughly, but that's alright. Not a big deal right now. Just be careful. No, no, we'll just be friends. He's in another war, so we haven't really got to worry about ourselves, about him too much. Um, he took a river crossing into us, and he's going to win? Even with all that advantage? You son of a bitch. Okay, well, that gave him a 100% war score in the other war, so now we can call our ally in, so it's not such a big deal. Um, call to arms, and can't call him in. Right, there we go. Okay, so we've got the Chandra Chalpanas out now. Um, what's that looking like? Chand, Chand, Chand. 1,500. Wow, we've, we've started like an intercontinental war here. I, I didn't quite grasp the consequences of my actions, I'll be honest. I know it said superior, but I assume that was including mostly our troops in that calculation. This could be a bit of a bit of a concern. Um, what about domain limit? Can't really do much about that right now. Edible perks, we can go for a little bit of religious icon. Um, okay, okay, here's the plan. Bear with me here. Let's ransom some people out. Please, faster. Whenever you're ready. There we go, there we go. Uh, oh, increase by diplomacy by one. Martial, stewardship, intrigue, learning or prowess. Um, Age of Empires, very good. Uh, let's go for... Martial? We didn't get it. What a shocker. Um, come on. Let's, let's, let's ransom out the other prisoner quickly. Bear with me on this one. Uh, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. I don't think they were actually ransoming out for anything, but that's okay. Right. Um, now we hire mercenaries. We can't afford mercenaries. Oh, we can afford mercenaries, but they're not very really good. Ooh. Okay. Uh, let's get you. Why are you over there? No. Okay. Unify. Uh, zero stress. 50% chance of 35 and losing 35. We lost the 35. Fine. Whatever. Where's our ally? Oh, little ally, please hurry the hell up. We need all the help we can get. No, don't don't worry about the fabricate claim. This is a slight concern. I've bitten off a little bit more than I can chew here. Uh, no, 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 no. We should be friends. Thank you. Right, just go for his capital. If we can take his capital. Okay, we're not going to be able to take his capital while he's... Uh, ally. Oh, there he is. 700 dudes. Is that really all you could fucking bring together? You ass. I hope those guys are at war with him. Maybe they'll turn around now. Uh, oh, no. There's 1,400. Run, run, keep running, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Never stop, never stop, never stop. Reinforcements. There we go. That's what we're after. Okay. Um, 6,400. How many troops have we got there? 3,600. If we just go for a white piece? What if we could just take his capital and white piece him out? I was expecting my allies to be a bit more potent than they are. But this was uh, just quite disappointing, to be honest. There's a problem with having most of our allies inside our bloody realm. Our son Optimus died, really. Come on. Fuck off, fuck off. Go the other way. No! Okay, this is going to be an ass, isn't it? Okay, right. This is going to take me a while, but bear with me. No, we're dead. Okay, um, that's fine. We, we quite literally just could not outrun them. Surrender, go on. He can he can imprison us and now revoke all of our stuff. Um, he lost the county. Is that it? Is that all he's taking, a county? Uh, okay. I'll leave you to Tony Bobby, and now they've only got 3,000 troops. What? <laughs> Fuck. Oh, God. We've literally got more troops than they've got raised in their bloody capital right now, I'd like to point out. Um, yikes. And who are we at war with right now? I would like to disband my troops, please. I, I don't want to be part of this war. Thank you. Come on, let us out, you shit. We can, it's, it, I was barely a setback, to be honest. I'm genuinely surprised we won. Ransom myself for nine, for a favor. Oh, he's up for, he's up for the favor. That's all right. Yeah, whatever. To be honest, I'm not sure entirely what we lost there. What did we lose? He, he revoked, like, a, a title here? Yeah, he revoked that one. Was that it? 
Oh, well, that wasn't bad. That was worth the gamble on the crown just to lose a single county. I don't care about that. Okay, so this time, let's try and take the whole kingdom before we before we get independence. I'm just getting a little bit concerned that our guy is 69 years of age um, and we're potentially not looking so good on that front. Uh, inspiring rule. Firm hand. Yeah, go on then. Um, okay, we'll keep, we'll keep claiming titles. The problem is right now, all the titles that we want to claim, we are... We have an alliance with, and we can't press Cass's Bell Eyes on the guys that we don't have borders with for reasons I don't quite understand, but that's okay. Big gamble, didn't pay off. Overall, I'm not really too concerned, because we can make a faith. 2,450. Look at this. Okay, so, faith icon. Let's do something that really stands... Oh! <laughs> oh, you know we're gonna do it. Uh, elephants, very famous. Swimmers. Looks like an elephant of the sea, like a manatee. Uh, sea man... Manatee. I know that that's not how you spell manatees, but I think like humanity. It's a pun on manatee. It's our dynasty name. This is great. Um, see manatee. Like Christianity has the I-T-Y suffix on it. Or well, a lot of religions do. Uh, that's like, there's so many, there's so many puns working in that. Adjective. Sea, sea man. Single follower uh, is a sea man. And many followers is sea men. Sea men. Uh, description. Uh, praise. And, and thusly, mighty, m mighty elephant, elephant, lord of the realm and surfer of the high seas shall indeed rise to purge this here land, in brackets, only the coasts of infidels, infidels. And sin. Verily, the elephant. The elephant shall crush you too, you little bitch. <laughs> 212. There we are. Right, good. Uh, Seamanity. Okay. What are we going to do with Seamanity? Well, firstly, uh, male dominated equal. I mean, equal is obviously the way forward. Um, male preference. Equal and female preference accessions would be nice because it means we can play that incredible girl that we've got. Love it. We're at war. We can't reform it. Balls. Okay, forget it for a second. Am I at war with? I'm not at war, though. I'm not at war. I'm part of a war. No, 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 no. Are we going to die because we're being called into other people's fucking wars? No, that's not fair. No, no, no. I need to reform this religion like right now, friend. This will marry you, seeing as there's very thin pickings. Uh, I guess this is the downside to having so many alliances. We're now trapped. We can't reform our religion. Uh, I better have kept all my bloody changes there. Otherwise, I'm going to be very angry. Um, no! Did it? Yes, it did. Okay. No, I just didn't save the elephant. Um, all right. Don't worry about it for the time being, then. We'll, we'll, we'll reform the religion when these bloody wars undoubtedly, hopefully, end soon. Boofa Seaman can marry. What's she like? Oh, she's the she's the one I want to play as. Um, so we're going to get matrilineal with her. And we're going to marry... What do you think about marrying someone who's super attractive and going for fertility? Alternatively, we go for someone who's got, like, Herculean... 77, though. That's a little bit concerning, isn't it? Let's just go for the attractive guy. Potentially genius, attractive, and, or beautiful, and robust. Let's do it. I'm, I'm up for that. That seems like a great idea. Bring another feast. 100 piety. I mean, that might be the difference between another doctrine or not. Um, I'll distract the converging guests. And then, time to crack open my secret stores for some prestige. We're basically just going to have to have feasts around the clock. What can we do for piety besides, besides pilgrimages? When can we have another one? Oh, we can. We're just at war still. Balls, come on. These wars hurry up because they're like really holding us back here. Um, we don't want to do that anymore. We've already got profit. It's just going to cost us doing that. So that's a waste of time. I invite champions. Yeah, you know, that's probably not a bad idea, is it? Why not? Probably stand a better chance. And I know this is borderline heresy. If I'd have bought a mixture of troops and lots of them rather than 50 elephants. <laughs> There's no wonder we've got all this land and everybody and we're inferior to everyone because for the same amount of gold we spent on 50 elephants, we could have bought what? I mean, they're 400 ago. We could have bought, I mean, shitloads of mangonels. I mean, we could have almost bought 10 bands of footmen. I mean, if you're including both elephant bands as well, we could have bought like 18 bands of footmen for the same price. Slightly less than that. But you see why... You know, we're quite weak relatively. 
Uh, so what we'll do then... Until we can make ourselves a kingdom tile. When we're quite literally on the cusp of our round being divided. We'll put a pause on the elephants. For now. I know it's borderline heresy. But I I, I think we need some better troops. Just temp... Not, not better troops. That's, that's, that is that is heresy. Um, not better troops. But um, a variety of troops. Some extra troops. We're almost out of the war. We're close. Um, no, 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 no. Don't for the timing. I'm still demanding payments. Uh, I've got our spy master over in the Deccan Empire and covering secrets again. Just to try and see what we can get from that. Um, just so we can throw together the quickest. We've got Pikeman. Let's go Armored Footman. Just so we can throw together like the quickest mana arms possible. And this is hopefully going to really increase the quality of our of our troops. I mean, some sort of some sort of dodgy building. We could save up for that and make our make our armies a bit more effective. Military academies certainly wouldn't hurt. Um, what I mean, elephants have got to be heavy cavalry, right? So if we go for jousting grounds, I, I, I think they can. Let's just see if we can work that out. Um, if there's anything we can find it, yeah, stay there. Uh, let's go mercen, not a mercenaries, man at arms. Um, elephants count as what? Heavy cavalry, right? They are. Okay, so I think we build the jousting grounds. What are you trying to do? Oh, use his weak hook to give us high vassal. Oh, I don't care about that. Okay, we're paying slightly more taxes. It's barely made a bloody dent. Oh my god. It's all kicking off here. Typhus camp fever. Brave soldiers. No! Must hurt. Okay, we've got Typhus, but we've got all those. Oh my god, look at him. He looks like he's been mummified. <laughs> oh my god, are you okay? Gotta be so fast. The other war ended, but we've got to. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Court position, court position. Yeah, yeah, she's better. Who'd have thought? Um. Uh, do no more than this is necessary. Excellent work. I was going to say, we're already fairly healthy anyway. And, and with this, we should be able to reform the religion, right? Are we good? Victory, yeah. Go on a pilgrimage. We, we could do that quickly. Do you think we could get a, a pilgrimage in here fast? Let's do it. Oh, come on. It will give us so much more to play around with. Please, please, run. Be fast. Be fast. Don't die to Typhus. Divine protection. Yes, be fast. Be fast. Be fast. Go, go, go. I walk the holy path. Boom. Mystic. Fantastic. I think he's actually going to die. Reform the religion. Go. Create new Buddhist faith. Go. Create faith. That's fine. We've lost my elephant! What were we called? Seamanity. Oh, oh, my fucking elephants. Um, adjective. Seaman. Uh, single follower. Seamanian. Um, I guess Seamanian. If we're going for like Christianity... To Christ the Christianity would be to, to the Christians. Uh, and then if you're a single follower, you can be a seaman. That's fine. And then if you're a many follower, you're a seaman. And then description. Haha. <laughs> Haha. <laughs> Elephant. Go. Brr. Done. Right. <laughs> Elephant. Good. 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 Right. right. How much is it going to cost me, fella? Uh, what do we want to buy? I don't know how much it's going to cost me. 2,700. Wow. Even with asceticism. Okay. We don't want asceticism. What do I want? What do I want? Adaptive? Being of different faith. That's a bit pointless. Convert county conversion resistance, 30%. Ooh, that's quite good. Infidel vassals are less likely to join independence and popular factions. That's also really good. I think adaptive could be quite nice. Adorcism. Seek the spirits. Makes possessed a virtue. I like that one a lot. Um, arm uh, to be honest, I want warfare. 20% uh, less prices to declare holy wars. If one exists, head of faith can declare. He okay, so we can get great holy wars. I don't just gain a bonus. If no head of faith exists, we gain a bonus to converting faith in county per controlled holy site. Wow. Additional bonus upon completion of the pilgrimage. We already have that, don't we? So we can make pilgrimages like super, super, super valuable. Okay. And then. Ritual suicide. Adamic pacifism we don't want. Communion, sanctioned false conversions, Gnosticism, uh, no, hedonistic, human sacrifice, inner journey, uh, possibly getting theological insights, we go heavy on the, the theology, huh, that'd be quite good, American preachers, additional bonus on completion of the pilgrimage, we go heavy on the pilgrimage front, like really heavy on the pilgrimage, that'd be quite fun, and then do those whenever possible, um, pursuit of power, reincarnation, oh, that'd be good as well, 500. Can we afford it? We can just. Okay. Potentially reincarnation. Let's see what else we've got. We can spend f any 500 points. It's got Ritual of Hospitality. Sky Burials. Oh, I think I love Sky Burials. Or oh, Vows of Poverty. Now, give me Sky Burials for the health bonus. Seamanity. Oh, hang on. Before we spend all that, we want to we flip over, don't we? We want to go like equal. Um, 
I, I would love to go fundamentalist. I think we want to go righteous at least. We might have to get rid of some of our stuff here. But bear with me. Uh, theocratical lay clergy. If we go lay clergy, we can have a... Uh, if we go theocratic. What do we need for temporal again? We need uh, unrevocable, right? Can I have theocratic clerical traditions? Okay. So we go lay clergy. We want temporal head of faith, but we need to get rid of um, spiritual revocable. Temporal for life. Yeah. We're not going to be able to afford all the other crazy stuff, but we can always get that in the future. 5,100 now. Okay, we're going to have to drop some of our doctrines, unfortunately. Uh, Medican preachers. Oh, no. We have to drop our pilgrimage. We can get it later on. We can get it later on. We can slowly upgrade humanity. Yeah, I think that's okay. We could swap out some of these ones, like ritual celebrations. Gives us piety, though. Good for if we want to upgrade it in the future. I don't think we really need the naval speed. I feel like astrology is a bit of a waste of time, but I'd rather get the um, medicant preachers for the pilgrimage again. So we might get a wise man, and we can go for pilgrimages, ritual celebrations, quite good esotericism. That's okay. 3,600. There we are. Uh, divorce is allowed. No bastards. Custom marriage is fine. We accept all the sorts of deviancy. Uh, temporal for life. Religious head. Temporal. We're good. So we can afford some something else, right? Uh, what if we go something super cheap? We can afford something else super cheap. Not a problem. Okay, okay. Um, so just to double check. Equal, righteous, late clergy, temporal. We could go to fundamentalist and we can still afford another thing. Asceticism. No, I want to go for whatever it was that gave us that gave us the uh, pilgrimage bonuses. And I think we just double, triple down on that. Um, oh, man, I really want that one, too. <laughs> um, right, okay, we got armed pilgrimages then. No, 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 armed pilgrimage is the other one that gave us the bonus that we can't get. Uh, inner journey. That's not great. Monasticism isn't great either. Reincarnation is quite fun. I think I want sky burials still. Yeah, I think I'm going to go sky burials. What do you think? See Manacy. And we become the religious head, correct? Do it. How do we create a new head of faith? Uh, do we have to have... Yeah, how do we create a new head of faith then? Head of faith is formal leader of the faith. Some have a temporal head and don't have a head of faith at all. Oh, is it just the fact that Buddhism does not have a head of faith? Oh, is that right? Oh, damn. Under the faith. Uh, it should be given to us then, huh? Ah, there we are. Good. Uh, the Ari Sangha have lost their way and can no longer be trusted to guide us. To remedy this, I've gathered a group of bhikkhus to celebrate the future of our faith. These bah bahikus have declared humanity to be the one true faith and are promoting asceticism among their followers, coming that materialistic pursuits block the path of spiritual fulfillment. A great leader will rally them. Us. Your boy. Can we make that our... Damn, there's no title associated with that anymore, huh? That's a shame. So did we just count as the head of faith then? And how does that work for inheritance? Or does it not? Head of faith vacant. Oh, so we can make one. We need two holy sites. There it is. I don't know why it's... Oh, it's because I'm hovering over head of faith. Right, there we are. We need two holy sites. And then we create a head of faith that we can keep. So that'll probably be with our future character. Wow, that was a close one, huh? 74 and he's got Typhus. So I don't think he was really long for this world. Um, we, our realm is going to be divided. I don't think there's anything I can do about that at this stage, unfortunately. Um, I think we're just going to have to take the L on that one. Oh, not. We lost Typhus. We live to fight another day. Okay. Maybe we will be fine. Could have held out a bit longer for more religious bonuses then. That's a shame, huh? Okay. Um, well, let's go for... I mean, we could go for more alliances. I don't think we need alliances. I just want stewardship. To be frank, I just want all the stewardship at this point. We could get independence, though. They're still... Their allies is just so strong. They've got too many good alliances. We need to flip over a couple of generations, don't we? So actually, on the, on the subject of that... Um, Bufa is in line to inherit because we are equal. So if we kill off our son, she becomes our heir, correct? We're not going to be able to kill off our son. He's 55, though. Um, he's robust. She's so good. My God, I wish we could jump straight to We could go female preference if we get the 500. Oh, we need high crown authority. Uh, okay, and we'd have to make all our vassals like us. That's not going to be so easy at all. Um, 11.30. He's got to live for another seven years. If we can live for seven years, we can jump straight to Boofer. If not, we can play as this guy for a lot while, but he's a martial character, so we could just have him leading the troops, and maybe if he dies, hey, I mean, he died doing what he was good at, so we'll get some bonuses out of him, and we'll be able to go to Boofer straight away as well. But this is the final thing to do. Can we now declare war on you? Well, obviously, we're in debt, but when we're out, I'm hoping we can declare war on that guy again and start picking apart some more of these counties. We could definitely declare war on you. 
and we were allied with Ava. So they, we need to try and find a way to break that alliance. If we want to get our independence, we might still be able to do it, this guy, but it's going to be bloody close. Anyway, let's see what there for today. Thank you all for watching. Apologies about the latest on this one again. It's just because uh, uh, the 1.1 the, the patch did kind of throw a spanner in the works a little bit there. Thank you to Pirate Tika, Ultra Spider 2000, Prometheo, Deadly Kitten Hunt, Infectious Number 5, Mr. Streamer's Little Slot, Matthewson T, Mantle, Argus, Dommies, Big Chungus, Varlord, Mayo, Tempe, Aka, Vierzy, Inspector, 2319, and everyone else at Executive Producer Tears on Coffee for making the channel possible in the first place. A big thing has to go out to those guys. And a thank you as well to Bling, Magica, Juseda, Slow King, 1710, Nikki Sticks, Hoof and Spiel, White Storm, and Aramis, Commissar Taj, One of Daz, Patty Pat Pies, John H, Sir Thor the Swede, Felpy, Dave Ash, Chipper Legrone, Milo Eyes, and everyone else over at coffee for their support and keeping the channel possible in the first place thank you to you all hope you guys are enjoying some of this weird playthrough um it's it's really bizarre unlike something we've ever done before and i'm really looking forward to the religious craziness we can get up to